The heartbroken family of a bicyclist killed in a hit and run crash is pleading for justice. Paul Sanchez would have turned 34 next week, but his life was cut short early Sunday morning. Action News anchor Nick Garcia is live at Fresno Police Headquarters tonight, where investigators say the runaway driver is still on the loose. Nick. Well, Warren Margo, this happened late Saturday night. The crash that is near a very dangerous central Fresno intersection. Our records show there have been several crashes there just over the past couple years. This tragedy, however, happened just feet from the victim's front door. Liza Barnett lights a candle, part of a growing memorial for her son, Paul Sanchez. Saturday night, he was riding his bike home on Clinton Avenue near Van Ness Boulevard when police say a car hit him and kept driving. Home was just a few feet away. I got to the light and I seen some person laying there with the bike and um, something touched my heart thinking it was my son. Sanchez was rushed to Community Regional Medical Center where he later died. It's not fair. No one's ever prepared for this. And no one's ever prepared for something like this, much less two children, one back to back, your only children. Just two years ago, Liza lost her daughter, Nicole, to kidney disease. Now clutching a photo of Paul, she's a mother with no children left on earth. I go in his room and I, I just sit there. I sit there and I lay in his bed. And I just feel, I feel so alone. I feel so empty. She and her sister-in-law say Paul was full of life loved helping others and could always make everyone laugh. My son was everything to me. Um, he was the kind of person that would take his shirt off for someone. One of the biggest hearts that I've ever known. He had a big heart. Neighbors and loved ones have rallied together. One friend created this GoFundMe page to help with funeral expenses. Every day that she comes out of her home and walks down these steps, she's going to remember that that's where her son's life was taken. Liza sits on her porch, still waiting for her son to come home, heartbroken he never will, and angry the person responsible is still out there. I want justice for my son. I want to know who did this to my son. <laughs> so I'm asking everybody for any information that night, or if you know of a wrecked vehicle, to come forward. And eyewitnesses described the car as dark in color. Police are still searching for that driver. Now, if you'd like to contribute to that GoFundMe page, we've put a link to it in our website. Just look for this story when you get there at ABC30.com. Live in downtown Fresno, I'm Nick Garcia, ABC30 Action News.